welcome back to another video of Midnight LPS. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you guys so, so much for 300 subscribers. I am very excited, but also very like shocked at the same time and surprised. Like I never expected to have this many subscribers around this time of the year, especially with next year coming up. And oh my goodness, it's amazing. All right, so this video will be a little bit of a short q and A. I only got three questions I got from my LPS Instagram story and I figured I'm gonna do a little bit of an LPS vlog in this video too. But before I start off with the questions, I just wanted to let you guys know if anyone still wants to ask me questions for this Q&A, I can also do a part two where I can answer those questions in the next video. All right, let's get started with the Q&A. So first question, what's your favorite LPS mold? How do you pick out your mascot? Shout out to bananacat123 underscore LPS. Gotta say my favorite LPS mold would have to be the short haired cats, the collies, the LPS deers, horses, and I also gotta say the chinchillas and the hummingbirds. How I picked out my mascot was this LPS crouching cat, I remember I got her like way back in an LPS lot and just something about her when I first saw her, I was like, ooh, she should become my mascot like for my LPS channel. So here we are and now she's my mascot. Second question, are you kind of an introvert or an extrovert? Shout out to LPS by Emmy. That was your first question. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with all of you guys. Elementary school, I remember I was an introvert where I was like very shy and not very talkative with people. I feel like I was more into nature and animals at the time. And then like around middle school times, maybe sixth or seventh grade, I kind of came out of my shell where I wasn't like shy anymore. As of today, some people say I still can be shy. I gotta say I'm more of an ambivert. So an ambivert is in between introvert and extrovert. But middle school, high school times, I was more of an extrovert. And nowadays I'm more of an ambivert. So it like depends on who I'm with. Like I can be an introvert around people I don't know that very well. Like I have to kind of warm up to them, get to know them first before being confident or comfortable enough to like start a good conversation with them. As my extrovert side, that's more with people I'm like very comfortable around, I've known for a long time. For example, my closer friends, best friend, like we can talk about basically pretty much anything except a couple things. I'm pretty much an ambivert nowadays. All right, so your next question. Do you like making LPS crafts? And yes, I love making them and I love to watch other people make them. So I could try it to do it their way or I could try and do it my way just to get some ideas from it. But also give other people credit if I decide to use their idea. So I guess I would say definitely a big yes. I love to make LPS crafts and DIYs. I also love your LPS DIYs when I watched your necklace one. And I think there was one with some other accessories. I'm trying to remember. I haven't watched your videos in a while, but I remember watching some of your um, older videos where you did DIYs on things. Those were so much fun to watch. All right, so those are all of the questions I have answered in this video. By the way, I hope you guys like this candle I have. That's Christmas cookie. And this is a twisted peppermint hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. And this candle I think I got from Yankee Candle. All right, so let's see. Might have to do a little bit of updated kind of video, just some updates and things going on in my life right now. Let's begin. I'm thinking about going back to college. After I graduated high school in 2020, back in May, I remember I wanted to go to college for that fall semester. So that would be my freshman year of college. So I decided to do one semester and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take a break for now. Here I am a couple more years later, still thinking about going back, but at the same time, I'm just kind of hesitant hesitating like what to do. I kind of thought about maybe trying filmmaking. Filmmaking, going into a business, or another thing I thought about was microbiology, but like I heard that it's really hard to get into microbiology and I was never a big, um, how to say it, biology class in like high school was not my biggest 
class that I would ever be good in. So maybe bi microbiology wouldn't be for me. I gotta say something with business or filmmaking. Some friends of mine at the gym just a couple days ago were actually asking me about college, like what happened and what I wanna go into. So some of them were like, yeah, you can go back whenever you want. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's just a 50-50. Like I'm still debating whether or not to do it. I mean, I know a lot of other of my friends in real life are in college or some aren't. So it's like, I'm just trying to figure things out. All right, I remember I posted on my LPS Instagram story about the time when I met some new friends on the basketball court, like after I played some games. That happened last Saturday where I met this one guy. He's the same age as me. I think he might be two or three months older, I think. Okay, so him and I met when we were playing a game of three, like three versus three in basketball. And I decided to go up to him and chat with him because I felt like he would be easy to talk to versus the other people I saw. So we just introduced ourselves. I got a Snapchat and I was like, yeah, I mean, we can 1v1 sometime. So the funniest thing is, Two days ago, him and I 1v1. I beat him the first game, then I went upstairs to lift, hit legs, because I was doing leg day. And then he was still playing some more basketball games, and I 1v1 him again, and he beat me. So I gotta say, him and I have tied so far. But I do have some good news for you guys. I am going to be doing some traveling next year. I am excited. I'm gonna be visiting family in Arizona for a week in late January. And my best friend, she's gonna be coming along with me because she's never been to Arizona. We're gonna see the Grand Canyon. We're gonna go to Tombstone. And oh my goodness, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures with my LPS I'm bringing. I'm bringing my character. I kind of thought about my mascot, but I have other LPS I'll bring. I'm gonna show you guys. So these are all the LPS I'm planning on bringing with me when I go to Arizona. And by the way, I've been to Grand Canyon many times. I've been to Tombstone one time and it was so much fun. I love Western history. Like it's so fun. I even got a movie based on the history behind that place. I was actually very surprised to actually go there for my first time. It was so much fun. But yeah, I'm gonna be taking a lot of photos with probably maybe like these four LPS and not really these two that much. I figured Maybe I should bring my mascot now that I think about it. I have so many other LPS I'd like to bring. I just don't want to pack too much because buy a lot of stuff while I'm there. So I got to make sure I have room in my bags to make sure that I don't overpack. I feel like I'm going to be spamming my LPS and Instagram account with taking a lot of pictures. Ooh, I really want to see the Grand Canyon again. It's been such a long time. Plus, I don't think I took this LPS anywhere with me for traveling yet. Cause I know I took her. It was like these three LPS I took with me back in my Las Vegas time when I went to Las Vegas with my guy friend, his brother and his mother. Speaking of that guy friend. I'm going to visit him where he lives. That's going to be like a four to five hour drive. Not going to be fun. When I get there, we're just going to do some stuff that they have for fun things to do and activities. I'll be there for four days. I think next time I go, I'm just going to bring these four LPS with me when I go. But that's like around May time. So I still have enough time to figure it out and take some more photos like usual. I'm a big photographer person. But besides that, I need to go through my LPS collection. But here are all of my LPS where I keep them stored in. I keep them stored in this box that my Ugg boots came in when I got those like two to three years ago. Um, I know I have some LPS fakes in here, like fake LPS in here, some real ones. It's really hard to tell from each one which ones are real, which one's fake. I definitely know this one is fake. I think this one is too. I feel like this one's definitely real because I saw like another one I had that was a fake and this was like the real one. So I can definitely tell this one must be real. And yeah, I mean, even with fake LPS, I still feel like they work for your collection because like the real ones would be very expensive and I don't really want to spend that much money on like one LPS, for example. I gotta be honest, I have so many LPS in here, just too many. And I also have um these uh, smaller ones and like these plastic bags too in here. And here is my walkable LPS. I need to find some more walkable LPS to collect. This is like my first ever walkable LPS I've had. And the paint is kind of coming off his nose, I've noticed, because I've had him for a long time. Here's another thing that I started to collect once again. And these were so nostalgic with my childhood. I just had to buy these again. Skylanders. Oh my goodness. So I bought this off eBay and I bought these characters off eBay. I even have more characters. These 
pages are pretty much all the characters I have right now, but I have some more on like a list I wrote down for characters I wanna buy and ones I used to own when I was a lot younger. Since LPS are coming back next year, I'm gonna start buying them, but I figured I'm also gonna try and collect these guys again since I feel like they were discontinued a long time ago. But man, they bring back so many memories. My favorite was always Spyro and Flashwing. They were always my favorites. Then I have this other Spyro that's like a series two. Got Cinder, Jetvac, and Snapshot. And there's some other characters too. And then there's these little trap things I have not bought, but I'm thinking about buying at least one of them eventually. Man, I don't know what happened to Skylanders. The first game I ever played was Spyro's Adventure on the Wii. Then I went to the Giants. And then after that, I. I never played them ever again. Like, I don't even know what happened. But if anyone remembers these, you guys can comment down below your thoughts or anything you want to say about the Skylanders. Like, oh my goodness, I feel like my favorite villain in Skylanders always had to be this guy, um, Chaos, I think his name was. And I think these these other two, I think they're the Doom Raiders. I started to play this game a while ago, so this is like my first time ever playing this game. I feel like Spyro's Adventure and the Skylander Giants were always my two favorite games to play. Those were always my favorites. And then I know there's some other games I gotta buy too, but for now, I'm just gonna try and finish this game. Also, here are some other games I've been playing lately. Need for Speed Heat is one of my favorites. Red Dead Redemption 2 is also one of my favorites. Um, I need to try and play this game, this Horizon game. It looks like so much fun. Got Tomb Raider, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, and I got The Last of Us, the remastered one, the first game. I gotta get the second one. And then my dad has an Xbox One, but he won't let me play it anymore. But I was able to play this game, which looked like fun. This game was pretty good. This one was pretty good. Same with Sonic Forces. I also like that one. Um, besides that game, I also got Kingdom Heart, and there's Minecraft right over here. And down here, I also have my Nintendo DS, and I have some games over here. Uh, let's see, I got this Pets Horse game, I got two Mario Kart racing games, and some more LPS, uh, whatever that thing is, and more LPS games. These ones, the Beach Friends and the Garden one. And I do have this one. This one's if, okay. This one is winter if it'll focus. I don't know if it will. Let's see, okay, I think it focused just a little bit. But it says winter on there, so I have that one as well. But all right, so that's probably it for this video. I don't think I want it to be too long because I got some other stuff to do, like I said earlier. But I can't wait for the new LPS to come out. They kind of remind me of these LPS, like the customized LPS. They kind of remind me of them a little bit, but also one's kind of like these LPS too, I gotta say. <laughs>